Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about direct variations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are examples. By the way, there are four examples for this video about direct variations. And it says here, in each of the following, y varies directly as x. Find the missing values. So what we have here is the direction, direction and it says that we need to use y varies directly as x. We need to convert this into equation for us to solve these problems. So how do we convert this? We will put y is equal to kx. This is the equivalent equation of y varies directly as x. So now, here's the question. How are we going to solve number 1 if y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 4? Find y when x is equal to 12. So normally, guys, in variation problems, we need to convert first or translate this kind of phrase. And luckily, we already have the equation. Now next is we need to find the value of k. And for us to find the value of k, we will use this phrase, na sabi dito, if y is equal to 12, when x is equal to 4. And what we need to do is to use the values y is equal to 12, your x is equal to 4, and substitute these values to this equation. Your y will be replaced by 12. Then as for your k, copy your k, then substitute 4 for x. And as you can see, when you multiply this, it will become... 4k. So, instead, direct na natin yung pag-divide ng 4 on both sides of the equation. So, we will cancel 4 and 4. And as you can see, what we have now is k and then 12 divided by 4 that is equal to 3. And this k, by the way, guys, again, this is the constant of the variation. Then after getting the constant of the variation, we will try to generate a new equation or the working equation for us to solve this problem, find y when x is equal to 12. Using the general equation, y is equal to kx, we will replace k using this value. At ang mangyayari dito, it will become y is equal to 3x. Now, find y. Your y right now is unknown then your x is equal to 12. Copy your y, since wala pa tayong value ng y, and then for this, copy your 3, and then substitute 12 for the value of x. This will become 3 times 12. And as simple as that, we can easily get the value of y by multiplying 3 and 12, which is equal to 36. And this is the answer, guys. 36 to the value of y in example number 1. Pero check muna natin if this one is really a direct variation. First, yung y natin is equal to 12. Tapos yung x natin is 4. In the second part, your y is 36. And yung ating x naman is equal to 12. Let's see if this one is really a direct variation. As you can see, from 12, it became 36. Tumaas yung value ng ating y. From 4, naging 12 naman yung value ng x natin. Parehas yung direction, it simply means that this one is definitely an example of direct variation. Now let's move on with example number 2. It says here, if y is equal to negative 18, when x is equal to 9, Find y when x is equal to 7. We will use the same equation, y is equal to kx, then find k, or the constant. What we have here is this statement or phrase, sabi dyan, y is equal to 18, negative 18, your x is equal to 9, Subject these values. This is negative 18 is equal to k 
times your x, which is 9. Same process, divide both sides of the equation using the constant or the coefficient beside k, that is 9. Cancel this out, cancel this out. You have now your k as negative 2. Okay? Now, using the constant, which is negative 2, let's generate the working equation. Here, so become y is equal to negative 2, and then the variable x. This is now the working equation. And as for the value of y, find y when x is equal to 7. Let's put y as a known. x is equal to 7. Substitute x to find y. It will become y is equal to negative 2 times 7. So this is y is equal to negative 14. As simple as that, guys. Now, guys, let's, let's move on to our next example. So what we have here is this. Number 3, we have y is equal to 35 when x is equal to 7. Find x when y is equal to 60. So let's generate the general equation, which is y is equal to kx. Then next step is that we will find our k, or the constant of variation. We will use this phrase. Sabi dito, if y is equal to 35, when x is equal to 7, substitute these values, y is equal to 35, x is equal to 7, this is 35, is equal to k times your x, which is 7, then this is 7, divide both sides by 7. As you can see, you can cancel this out. And you can have your k is equal to 5. This is now the constant of variation. Let's generate the working equation. Using your k, this will become y is equal to 5x. Now let's go with the main problem. For the main problem, we have find x when y is equal to 60. So, here, in example number 3, it is reversed. Ang hanapin natin ngayon is yung ating x. Yung y natin, meron tayong value, which is 60, and our x variable is unknown. Substitute 60 here, it will become 60 is equal to 5x. Since we're trying to get the value of x, we can divide both sides by 5. You can cancel this out, cancel this out. As you can see, you have your value of x, which is 60 divided by 5, and that is equal to 12. And this is the answer for number 3. Now let's move on with item number 4. In number 4, maybe this one is difficult for you because we have a fraction here. If y is equal to 1 third, when x is equal to 1 half, Find y when x is equal to 9. Same process, but different kind of situation. You have your y is equal to kx. We need to find k. So definitely, we can use this phrase to find the constant first. I will directly substitute y, which is 1 third. We have 1 third. And then it's equal to k times this one is one half. Now what will happen here, guys, is this: we can multiply this for uh, for us for me to show you the step by step process. We have one third is equal to this k times one half. It will become k over two, and we can use two different solutions, but in our case, I will try to cross-multiply 3 times k, that is 3k, then 1 times 2, that is equal to 2. And as you can see, we have your coefficient. We can divide this by 3, this by 3, cancel, cancel. Your k is a fraction, which is 2 thirds. 
Let us generate our working equation. So what will happen? Copy your y. Your k is 2 thirds is equal to 2 over 3 and then x. Now, let's go and find y when x is equal to 9. Our y is the missing one. Your x is equal to 9. Copy y. And then here, copy your constant, which is 2 thirds. Substitute the value of y times 9. We can do multiply the fraction in the 9, but we can cancel this out. And this will become 3. And what will happen? Your y is simply 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. And that's it, guys. That is how to solve for a direct variation problem. So if you're new to my channel, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the ring bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!